Well, what a season so far for the Brainerd boys hockey team. They're 10 and 4 sit on top of Section 8 2A and are also ranked number 9 in the state. But the Warriors are preparing to face one of their toughest opponents on their schedule this year. Clayton Castle has more. If you're looking for a team that's clicking on all cylinders recently, look no further than the Brainerd Warriors boys hockey team. The team is on fire after beating Moorhead last week for the section lead, earning them a 9 ranking in Class 2A. We're feeling pretty good so far. Everyone's getting along really well on the team. We're all buying in, you know, believing in each other. I think now we know what's expected of us each and every game, so we're starting to kind of get into a rhythm. and. We're starting to play, I think, the way we want to play. Head coach Dave Oss says the team has had a perfect combination recipe for success so far this season. Uh, I would say most of all, um, just kind of TV, goaltending, and then we block a lot of shots, and we've got some guys that can score, and so when you have that combination, you're going to be pretty good. Despite beating Moorhead their last two matchups at the Essential Health Sports Center, this win felt different to the Warriors. We've beaten them the last two years here, but it, we beat them in a different way on, on uh, Thursday. And, and in a way, I think that's a little bit more convincing. And, you know, I've got a, I, I've got a ton of respect for them. They're a good team. Now Brainerd's 10-4 record will be put to the test on Friday night in a top-10 matchup against Duluth East on the road. The Warriors say they're ready for the challenge. They're a really good team. I I don't know what they're ranked, but they're up there. It's always a fun rink to play in, the heritage up there. It's a sweet rink. A lot of people are going to be there. It's a big game for us. You've got to play good. I know their, their top line is, is very good, and uh, so that, that's going to be a challenge for us. I think they're pretty good defensively, too, and they're, they're big and strong, so that's going to probably cause some problems for us because we're, we're not the biggest team, but hopefully we can use our speed and, and play simple and uh, uh, just compete hard. I think that's going to be where we, we give ourselves the best chance to win. The Warriors aren't quite yet looking towards Friday night as they still have to take on Fergus Falls on Thursday night on the road. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. As Clayton says, I'll start around 7.15 and of course the big one Friday night at Duluth East. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.